And now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. All right, it's quarter to seven, everybody. We have cloudy skies in Appleton, and you see the darkening uh, clouds here. That's giving way to some rain showers, which if they're not quite here yet, I can't tell if we're seeing some sprinkles, but light rain will be in your future very shortly here. 63 degrees, and I would plan for the umbrella today as we do have a scattering of showers and some weak rumbles of thunder just west of Stevens Point. This mess moving over uh, eventually to Green Bay, the Lake Shore, Sturgeon Bay, you're dry right now, much of Door County, North Woods by Marinette, you're dry right now, but it won't be the case here within the next hour or two. Radar, radar is showing that. Well, temperatures are showing 50s and 60s, 61 in Green Bay, 62 in Wapaka, 65 is likely your warm spot in Kiwani. Now, the winds today are out of the south. They're pretty light as we start, but once we hit about midday and go onward, 10 to 20 miles per hour, some of these gusts, so we'll touch on the breezy side as this rainy system moves through. So notice on my day planner here, I do have a few showers at 8 o'clock, scattered thunderstorms at noon, and scattered thunderstorms at 4. In between those showers will be some dry time for just mostly cloudy skies. So this is not an all-day rain. That's the good news. And then they'll be gone by the early evening. 75 for a daytime high today. Why are we not seeing sun? Well, this is what gave us the sun yesterday. That's moving away. A ridge of high pressure gets replaced by low pressure, which brings us active weather for today. And you see the showers really starting to fire up from about Stevens Point over to La Crosse. So we have to get past that for our morning. Looks like we'll have some breaks here, but staying plenty cloudy. Uh, but 5 o'clock, still another chance there for some showers or an isolated thunderstorm bringing in a downpour. I'm not thinking this is a severe weather type of day. That's also some good news. Maybe a downpour of some uh, brief strikes of lightning. But overall, this should be out of here by 7, 8 o'clock, and we go dry after that. Now, we wake up on Saturday mainly clear. Could see some patchy fog there, but Saturday looks like a pretty nice day. We'll have sunshine, some afternoon cloud cover here. It's 3 o'clock, still dry. And then you go to bed at 10 o'clock, also still dry, even though earlier in the week we were thinking rain at this time. The rain does hold off, though, for Sunday morning. Daybreak. And after that, I think till about the noon hour, we can expect that chance for rain, and then there'll be some clearing there on after. So your weekend forecast in detail, mostly sunny tomorrow, 83. On Sunday, 81, a little muggy with th some morning thunderstorms and then drying uh, for the afternoon and evening. In detail today, though, mostly cloudy, on and off showers from now until the evening, and temperatures about 75. That's the best we're going to make it today. For tonight, rain tapers early, then we'll get clearing and the possibility for some patchy fog as we drop it to near 60 before tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast now. Saturday is dry, sunny and 83. On Sunday, muggy morning thunderstorms 81. Dry again Monday. This is the pattern, folks. Can you, can you find it out here? Dry on Monday, more storms Tuesday, 82. Dry again Wednesday, but looking very nice once we hit midweek and there on after.